Hello everyone, in this video we are going to learn how to add Zoho Inventory customer to Interact. So we will learn how to integrate these two applications Zoho and Interact in such a way that whenever a customer is created or updated in Zoho then the similar case will be performed or similar action will be performed in Interact as well. So we will create this automation with the help of Pabli Connect where our trigger will be to create customer in Zoho and our action will be to create user in Interact. Let us learn how to do that. So let us learn how you can add the customers from your Zoho inventory to your Interact automatically. Let us quickly sign in into our account so that we will reach this place where I can see all the applications provided by Pabli and we are going to use Pabli Connect to create the automation. Click on access now and that will take me to the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Reaching here you will see a big blue button on your right side where it's written create workflow. Click on the button and give a suitable name to your workflow. I am going to name it as Add Zoho Inventory customers to interact as users. Click on create and then a blank workflow will be created for you like you can see on your screen. You will be able to see the two major modules of Pabli Connect, Trigger and Action on which the whole workflow works. Now before that I would like to remind you to open your Zoho Inventory and also your Interact account so that it will be easy for you to connect both of them to Pabli Connect and also to cross check the activities that you are going to perform over here in the workflow. Now let's read what Trigger and Action say. Trigger says when this happens and action says do this, which means that trigger will be the first application where the event will take place manually, which means we are going to make the change. That change will trigger the workflow and it will make the action application perform the assigned action. So let us choose our trigger application which is going to be Zoho Inventory. Because a customer will be created in Zoho and that will trigger this workflow. So the event will be create or update customer. Now we will be provided a webhook URL by Pabli Connect to connect our Zoho and Pabli Connect and also to make changes that this event only should be considered while sending the information via webhook URL. We are using this webhook URL to connect our Zoho and Pabli Connect so that whenever a new customer is created or updated then all the information related to that customer will be sent over here as a response. So these are the instructions given to you. Now these are in two separate parts. The first part is just to attach the URL. The second part is to make sure that this URL brings the information only when a customer is created or updated. So we need to follow these instructions. Let us learn how to do that. Come over here to your Zoho inventory and find settings from the top menu over here. Go to settings and come down here to automation. Click on automation and both these steps are to be followed from here only. First go to webhooks and over here click on new webhooks. Now give a name to your webhook over here. This is the name to my webhook and the module will be for customers. So you're going to choose here customers. The URL to notify is this one. So when you copy this URL, you will see that it starts waiting for a webhook response, which means we have to set up the settings and also we are supposed to create a customer so that that new sample customer will be sent over here as a response. So now paste in the URL section. The method over here is post and then deselect the custom parameters. No changes are to be made. Just click on save. Now you have created a webhook that integrates Zoho and Pabli Connect. Now we have to set a webhook rule over here which is also called workflow rule. So this workflow rule will make sure that this webhook URL works only for the given event that we have selected. So for that click on new webhook rule over here. Give it a name. I have given it a name called when customer is created or updated. What is the module? The module again you have to choose over here customers. The description is not required. Click on next and choose a trigger. So the trigger will be created or edited. Execute the workflow when any field is updated. So we don't have to be very specific that only the name will change, the birth date will change, nothing like that. Any field of the customer detail when updated, then this workflow will trigger. Click on next. No need to filter any trigger. Click on next again and then add actions. So the action over here will be webhook that the action will be performed by the webhook and what will be the name of the webhook customer created. Now this happened now click on save that's your last step and your workflow rule has been created. So we were able to perform all these instructions in order to set up our trigger. See we have received a response which is a proof that yes our integration has been successfully done. Now recapture the webhook response over here. And now we will create a customer. Come back to your home page of Zoho inventory. Click on this plus button and then go to customer. Now we are going to create a new customer. If you want to create a business customer or an individual, I am going up for individual. Salutation over here and then the name of the person. This is the name. 
what is the company name the display name will be mr demo user and the company name i'm taking a random dummy name over here email address of the person this is the email address phone number make sure you add along with the country code of the person and also the phone number so it will be easier to map in your interact user any website if you want to enter this is a dummy customer because i'm adding i'm not entering all the details over here you have to do it according to your own requirement whatever you need about the customer or whatever information you have about the customer you can add all of that over there click on save and your customer is created now when you come back over here to your public connect workflow you have to wait for the response that you will be receiving and it will have all the details of the customer that you just now created and here we have the response so as you can see in the response we have the details of the customer first of all see this is the second name user and scroll down then you will have the first name of the user also this is the contact number the date of creation the first name the email address so basically the simple details that we have added for our customer for our individual has been provided to us in this response now we are going to use all this information to create a user and interact so it is a very simple step just click on the next action application and choose over here interact the action event for interact will be create or update user click on connect add new connection now we are connecting interact and public connect so that the information we have over here in our workflow that we have received from zoho should be transferred to interact and a new user will be created so for adding new connection you need a secret key so go to your interact over here you will find settings in the very end go to settings from here developer settings and here you will find the secret key copy it from here and then paste it right back in the workflow click on save and public connector interact will be connected now you have to enter the details of the person pay attention this is a little bit tricky now country code and phone number you can add separately also and if you have the whole phone number together with the country code that i mentioned while creating a customer in zoho then you can go with that only so we have it over here no need to add the country code separately so this is the contact mobile number now user traits is something very important you have to enter the name of the person the email of the person in this way so this will be the format copy it and paste it put a comma and then paste it again because we have two values over here which is the name and the email okay most importantly we do not have age this is just an example now erase this key part and write name okay and in the value section you have to type the value so what was the name of the person you have to enter the name so we have the whole name together we can enter that one now in the second key write email and then it is the value part again and in the value you have to enter the email address so write in the search and map data and map it over here this is the email address so we have given the name and the email address of the person and contact is already added over here so these are the basic details to add to about a customer now click on save and send test request and then you will receive the response that customer with this this detail updated successfully now this is done the result is one which means that one customer is created close this window and we will go to interact to check were we able to create a customer or not coming back to our interact we will come over here to users and see mr demo user the contact number and the email address these were the three basic details that we were we added in the workflow and every time a new customer will be created or an existing one will be updated in zoho inventory the same will be done to interact as well so we have integrated both of these applications so this was the whole workflow i hope this helped not just these applications but you can integrate many other applications using pably connect if you have any issue regarding pably you can email us at support@pably.com you can ask your queries at forum.pably.com and if you have any doubts regarding our pricing then you can connect us through this given website if you found this video helpful in any way then make sure to share this with your friends and colleagues to make their life easier by creating automations we will meet in the next video till then do not forget to like our video and subscribe to to our channel thank you